Hey everyone, this is Gabe Weaver, Senior Product Manager of the Project Management Group within the Plan Stage GitLab. Today we're going to be doing a speed run on scoped labels. So we're inside of a project right now. We're going to go ahead and create a new label, which is going to be a scoped label. Uh, as you can see the instructions here, use the double colon to create a scoped label set. So what exactly is a scoped label set? It is a mutually exclusive key value store. So in here we have key value one. And we're going to go ahead and create one more just to demonstrate this. New key value two. So now that we have two scope labels created, uh, let's go in and see what they look like in an issue. So in issue one, we don't have any labels. We're going to go ahead and apply our new scope labels here. And we're going to find key value one. So you can see that label was applied. So what traditionally happens is if you want to remove this label, you have to go search for it, remove it, and then add the new label you want to, uh, you want to replace it with. With scope labels, since they're mutually exclusive, you can simply select key value two uh, and save that. And as you can see, once we save it, it automatically replaces key values one with key value two. So what this lets you do is make sure that if you want to have a pseudo proxy custom field, uh, which represents the key is the field name and then a set of different values, um, you could use it for issue types, you could use it for uh, workflow steps, you could use it for all sorts of different things. It just makes sure that you can only have one of each available. Um, this also transitions over into issue boards nicely, as you can set up your list for your key and your values. If I were to add one and two here, uh, you can see it automatically pulls in the key value two since this is on issue one. I can swap it into the key value one, which will automatically also remove that key value two and add the key value one label. So it's a nice way to kind of uh, automate your label management, make it more efficient, and also um, uh, use uh, labels as a uh, proxy custom fields for the time being. Thanks for watching. Bye.